Okay. Here we are. We're playing 4D golf. My community has been... <laughs> is it become, this game has become a meme in my community. It's so on brand. This is like exactly the kind of game that we love and play. Extra dimensional stuff. It's just perfect. We've done a lot of that stuff. Let's just, I'm so excited. Let's just play the tutorial. You guys don't need the, my community lore. Here we go. Ooh. Welcome, human. It's very presumptuous of you. I am Cosmodius, your host for the multidimensional exchange program. Ooh. I'd give you a hug, but unfortunately, I'm a being of pure energy, and you'd be instantly incinerated. In many ways, you might interpret us as being beings of pure energy. Your primitive universe is very charming, but I'm sure you're excited to learn from us higher dimensional beings. Single quotes. Our world is quite different from yours, but I'll help you get up to speed. Yes, please. Have you played Hyperbolica? Yes. Let's begin your training in the sacred and ancient tradition of... Miniature Golf. Hell yeah. This game was released yesterday. It was released on Friday, uh, March 22nd, 2024. Um, first time in the chat. Hi, Hell Heater. Welcome. Welcome to 4D Golf. Your training will begin in a more primitive dimension. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We do actually the first, my first YouTube video to ever hit like a thousand views, I think, was Hyperbolica. I did a full playthrough and I posted it on my channel. So, this is just a spiritual, you know, I'm really appreciative of the developer. So we just got to experience more of this. Walk to the crystal for more guidance. Move around with WASD. Look around with mouse. Okay, so far so good. No, I can't afford it. Sorry, hell heater. Save up your shekels. Um... Crystal, when you're ready, press spacebar to start putting, and you'll be teleported to the ball. To explore again, simply start walking. If you ever lose sight of a crystal, press C to find it. I've lost sight of the crystal. C. It just rotates you to there. Okay. To putt, hold down spacebar and use mouse to hit the ball. Uh, oh, so is it like golf with friends? Or not golf with... Uh, golf it. Is it golf it mechanics? You can also zoom in and out using the scroll wheel. Ooh. Other putting modes are available in the settings. Okay, too far. <laughs> too far. Okay. Hold down spacebar. Oh, okay, it's physical. We did it, chat. Hole in one! Fantastic. Wow. I get achievement progress on every hole. Where's the hole? Hole two. Par three. Now it's time to open your third eye. Here the fourth dimension is not time, but a new direction of space. Heck yes. To imagine 4D, let's think about a lower dimension first. This 2D eyeball lives in a 2D universe. It only has 1D vision that scans the world. I, I've been a Flatland fan for like 20 years. But if the 2D eye was dropped into a 3D world, it would be able to rotate its 1D vision in new ways. However, 3D objects would appear and disappear from view. Of course. The eye would also be able to move in a new direction, but it would still perceive the 3D world in slices. In four dimensions, your 3D eyeball can also move in two new directions called Ana and Kata. Your eye will also have new ways to rotate. These will cause your 3D slice of the world to change. Dope. Move in the fourth dimension with Q and E, Ana and Kata. Hold left click with mouse to look around in 4D. Oh, walk to the crystal for more info. Okay. Oh. Slice. Ah. Okay. And then to rotate in 4D. Oh. Uh, I got to think about this. Okay. Where, where are we? We're, I'm back here. Rotating in 4D. Rotating in 4D. You know, I thought that 4D was actually super intuitive. Um, before seeing it implemented the way that this is implemented. Now it feels super cursed. Is there a way to reset? <laughs> I hope there's a way to reset. Press spacebar. Oh, I should move toward this. Uh, I should move toward... Oh, great. I can't... Move and rotate. Where where are you? Crystal? Oh.
A compass on Earth only rotates on a single 2D plane since the surface of a sphere is locally flat, of course. But in four dimensions, a 3D compass is needed to navigate because flat surfaces are three-dimensional. You have a compass like this in the upper right corner. Oh, so we do. Um, besides north, south, east, and west, there are two new cardinal directions, onth and kenth. Of course. That makes sense. That checks out. Press spacebar to start putting. Um, can I move the, I can only move myself in four dimensions, I guess, right? No, I must be able to change. Okay. How do you stroke again? Oh, wait, I want to, I see, right. I want to rotate. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're going to have to think about this. <laughs> we're going to have to we're going to have to think about this cuz it's easy to just find it's easy to like find a solution, right? That's like not the hardest thing in the world. But what is hard is to find a solution in a deliberate way. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I don't just want to rotate through until I see something that looks promising. That feels pretty good. Um, we're probably not getting a whole one, but that's fine. Let's just do a little bit. Oh, it's spacebar, right? I forgot. Welcome to 4D. Yes, but I need to understand what... Okay, so in regular golf, there's terrain. So Matt, what country do you live in? I live in uh, currently New York, USA. Um, I... In regular, there is... There's a potential gradient caused by hills, right? It bounced in 4D because the wall is slanted into the fourth dimension. Yes, but it's not very clear how I can visualize that being the case. These things will be introduced. Oh, okay. These things will be introduced. Okay. So I don't have to intuit everything. There's a good tutorial. Okay. Sorry, chat. Sorry for the holdup. Um, let's just get there. I'm a dingus. But does looking... I'm a dingus. I understand. Double bogey. Yikes. This is the tutorial. So it's fine. <laughs> I move that we grind this tutorial level for hours so it's perfectly understood instead of getting it from the future tutorial. <laughs> I feel seen. You will now receive an essential tool to navigate in 4D. To explain how it works, let's try it in a lower dimension. Yes, please. This tool brings your eye down to the track and then it tilts it into the new dimension. The walls of the track now appear to surround you. Oh, in a 4D world, the walls around you look like a 3D box. And since the gravity direction isn't the slice any isn't in the slice anymore, it appears like you're floating when you're actually walking. This perspective is called volume view. Ah, oh, of course. Okay, it's just as it's the equivalent of a vertical 2D slice. I understand. Um, but with an extra spatial dimension. Volume view can help see the 3D shape of flat courses. Uh, that's super helpful. Uh, press V to toggle volume view. You can also put in this view. Walk into the crystal for more info. In your world, flat things are 2D, but here 3D things appear flat. For example, the ground you walk on is a 3D volume, which you can more clearly see in your volume view. Let's, let's volume view, bro. Yo, tight. Okay. No, it gives you tools. It's not, ah. That's dope. Okay. This is sick. All right. And then this sphere is the hole. Okay, but there's an issue, which is... This view almost feels like cheating. Because then you're just playing like 3D golf. <laughs> you know? I mean, I guess it is an extra dimension of golf. But... Something about it still feels 
like I'm not engaging with 4D, very 4D like. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm crazy. There are also hills. <laughs> it doesn't work? Oh, okay. So how, wait, where am I looking? Hold on. I guess I want to go this way. Oh no, I overshot! No! What do you mean by there are also hills? Oh wait, I, I need to zoom anyway. Oh God, par is three. I'm so, I need to, um, I need to exit volume view, I guess. Or can I get it? Will getting it there actually get it? Okay, exit volume view. Does that mean there's a 4D wall there? Like this, I can see there's like a faint wall, right? That doesn't make sense. Hold on. Hold on, in what world? Here the hole is real, but I can see that there's a bunch of walls, right? So can I like rotate my view in such a way like along a different axis? Because there are still walls. The walls don't matter? What do the walls tell me? This is explained in the next tutorial? Okay. In that case, let's just... Let's just play golf. <laughs> let's play golf until the tutorial teaches us how to play the game. Faint walls are projections of the 1D edges of the course walls. Oh, okay. We got par there. Simple slopes. I keep trying, I always do this. I try to understand instead of go through the tutorial. Have you wondered what all those ghostly shadows are? Yes, I have wondered exactly that. Thank you so much. Even when objects aren't visible in your slice, their ghosts are still projected onto it. This is like a sixth sense for the fourth dimension. Oh, okay, useful. So you're projecting outwards. So I guess opacity is like your visual um, proxy for conveying distance information uh, in the dimension that we're not currently seeing. Um, I have no idea what the fuck everyone here is talking about. I don't, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> Carpets. I mean, we're, we're seeing the same tutorial, right? Okay, sometimes obstacles block your view. For example, hills in volume view may appear as walls. Oh, of course it does. That makes sense. Right. No, that checks out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. To help navigate, you can turn off the slicing, leaving only the ghost projections. This is the most useful in the volume view. Press 1 to toggle slicing. Press 1 to toggle slicing. Oh. 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 I see. Let's go into volume view. Okay, right. We're a box because hill... So then how do we go up the, oh, this doesn't, cause we're not going, but then will we be pushed in the direction? Yes, we must, right? Oh, 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 okay. I'm with you, okay. Seeing the same tutorial doesn't help me not be a dumbass. You're not a dumbass, Carpets. You've been a nerd for the least amount of time of anyone here since you're 15, so don't worry about it. This is volume view right now, but without slicing. This is volume view, let me get to, this is volume view with slicing, and then I can move up this slope, and then get over here, and then I guess move over here, and then there's volume view without the slicing is this. The ball will just roll up the hill if you hit it fast enough, the ground keeps it up, you don't have to worry about the ball sinking into the ground until you get into sand traps. Right. Okay. Dope. Do we put... Do we put in volume view? This isn't... If I move... If I put this direction... The ball does go forward, right? It doesn't bounce off? Yeah, okay. Well, okay, it bounces off the wall. Because it, it just rolled back down the hill. And now it's going to roll back because I gave it too much juice. 
Okay. This is a good tutorial. I'm impressed. I Why do I keep giving it so much juice? I know it's rolling up a hill. This sh in this in lack of slices view, I think that it should. What if we just give it thwack? Nice. We did it. There's another hill here. I should turn back on projections, huh? Damn. Okay. There's another hill here until we get here. And then, and then what? There's nothing. What am I? What's this? Oh, the bottom of the hill isn't rendered. That's so annoying. Or the, what's, what some side of the hill isn't rendered? I'm confusion. Sometimes you should try leaving volume view. Yeah, let's. I mean, okay, this, this is a lot more straightforward, right? But will I, is there ever going to be 4D collision? Here? No, not here, right? All right, can we? Oh, jeez. Oh, found it. So in volume view, this looks like this. Oh, that's a really helpful graphic. Helpful visual. Oh, turn off slicing and volume view. Oh, it makes so much sense. All right, we're just gonna regular golf. Oh, God, oh, off. I'm, I'm, I'm goofing it. Oh, chat is bad. <laughs> Stroke six. I double bogeyed. Ah! Uh, damn. At the top and look straight horizontally, you won't see the bottom. But if you're at the bottom, you will. Oh, that's a good point, Spike. No, you're right. If ghost projections become too crowded, use your second sight to alter them. Press 2 to toggle ghost projections. Ghost projections. There are three... Oh, you can do... Okay, you can do, like, faces and just edges, and then you can toggle them off entirely. I think that's normal. You're playing a new Gull game? Yeah, I know. You can enable the volume line option in the settings menu. In the volume view, a line will appear. Everything that touches the line will persist when you change views. For example, when the line touches the hole's ghost projection, the real hole will be visible when exiting volume view. Oh, I really like that. Um, I want that. Settings. Gameplay? Volume line. Enable, please. That way, in volume view... Ah... Interesting. Also... Interesting. Ah... Your volume view is tight. Right. Uh huh. Boom, boom. Space down two. So then we have three and then over, but then we can't see up. Of course. Okay. Damn. This game is crazy. This is such a cool tool for like 4D exploration. I have a loading circle on my forehead right now. I didn't know that exists. Would have been so helpful for me getting this course subpar. I guess that means, wait, how do, how can I get like the straightest line? Well, I guess I can't. Volume view, here to there. And then we can also do, oh Jesus Christ. Okay, chat, we've gone too far. I think it's good for a potential YouTube video. This 
I think a good bit for a potential YouTube video of this game is perfectly understanding the 40 concepts immediately, but messing up basic putts every time. Well, say less. I barely even play 3D games this much. This is crazy. Holy butts. Okay. I guess we'll just... Oh, do you think we can bink this? Oh! It's because I'm in a cube. S -s -s the All of the angles, of course, it's always going to retro-reflect. It'll always come out the way I should have thought of the geometry. If you go full force into a cube, then your line after it does all the 90 degree bouncing, get cubed, idiot. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dingus. Oh, chat. All right. <laughs> Okay, this feels good. Now, get us out of here. Give me not volume view. Wait, th what's this mesh? Oh, that's the ghost edge of the hole. Chat. Double bogey. Get in that 120 cell that's slightly, get that 120 cell in a slightly larger 120 cell. I feel like this is one of the games where if I try to understand the concepts I break, but I can play the game fine. Congratulations. I'll have to find out when I get around to buying it eventually. I do, I do urge everyone to go out and buy this game. Uh, well, I guess, you know, I haven't played it yet, but if, like, I think you know if you're going to be interested in this game. I, actually, it's actually, it's a 3D golf if you're using volume view. Yeah, that's exactly what I said a little bit ago. <coughs> Oof. Alhamdulillah. But uh, Nikita, the answer is um, like actually it's not always just 3D golf when you're using volume view, Nikita, because the fourth dimension is still there. It's just, it, it's only approximately equivalent to 3D golf in volume view if the whole course is flat. Uh, if it's curved, then it doesn't work that way. Here's one final but very important tool. You can find a lost ball or hole instantly. So you don't need to always search for it. H to find the hole, B to find the ball. Walk to crystals. It's easy to reverse your compass with east and west swapped. So a right turn can become a left turn. In fact, there's no way to tell a left shoe from a right shoe if you can just be rotated through the fourth dimension. True. Real 4D shoes need differences in all four dimensions to be distinguishable. This is correct. I have intuited this. When a wall is angled in 4D, walking into it can cause you to slide into the fourth dimension. Right. That's the reason that the only way that we change our slice, our, the current 3D slice that we're looking at right now in this view, is if we hit a 4D wall and then the course starts to change. Um, it's easy to see why this happens in the volume view. Right. Cool. Okay, let's go into volume view just to take a sort of gander at things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the course is still flat though in the other dimension. Right. Okay. I still wish there was a reset view button. Wish there was a reset view button. All right. Let's, I think it's good by far it's easiest to navigate in 4D view, or in volume view rather, just for regular playing of the game purposes. All right, can we get a birdie here? Probably. Probably not actually. through most of the tutorial. <laughs> rolling hills! Oh, hell yeah. If you had a bad putt, you can reset the ball while it's still rolling using R, but it will still count against your score. Ah, okay. That might need to happen a lot. <laughs> we'll see. Well, that's all it tells us? 
Do you know there's different compass styles to choose from in the settings menu? The isoclinic compass shows the directions on the rim, just like a handheld compass. I don't need that. Stereographic compass shows the direction you're facing in the center, similar to what you'd see on a flight instrument. Oh, actually, that sounds really nice. Wait. Well, I guess that that's... Ah, ah, it's basically whether you're looking outward or inward, right? I think I like this one better. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so we've got our up and down. We've got our north, east, southwest, and also our K and A. Oh wait, this is actually so much easier for me to like navigate around with the tools. Okay. So what are we looking at here? Ooh, okay, so we gotta go through here to go up here. But then there are hills. And then to here. Right, okay. So where where's our ball? Ball is here. So is there a way to get par four? Let's see volume view without the without the Oh, sorry, that's the one. Okay. Holy butts. Okay. Right, all we can do is really get it to there, and then it's probably gonna roll back down, right? Okay, here we're at the bottom of it. Where did I fall into? Sir? How dare you? Did I fall into a trap? Did I go out of bounds? I must have gone out of bounds like a doofus. Alright, let's get out of volume view to interpret what just happened to us. Where's my ball? Here's my ball. There are always walls. What happened to me? I think it's probably easier to think about it as a 3D space with a height number attached to each point. You mean volume view, right? Yeah, I wish th they could probably communicate that better. Like in volume view. Um. Like, why not communicate this as, um, like, density, like, either a point density or, like, a color gradient, just a volumetric color gradient, which I know is difficult to look through, but probably, like, opacity would be, like, if there was a haze that sh sort of the density of the haze told you. Uh, or you could do like 3D contour lines as well, right? It's challenging you to a set of custom levels of this and subpar count as a 10K challenge. Yeah, I feel like it should. Um, I bottom played through the tutorial. It's also meant to be exactly what people in 40 would see. Well, no, I know, I get it. I'm dizzy. Okay, well, let's just find a relatively straightforward projection here this looks fine um all right let's just get wait have i beansed it up just now i keep trying to click to putt when i should be spacing that's probably fine okay no way we're out of bouncing now right okay Wait, if I understood correctly, the volume view just replaces up and down with A and K? Yes, that's exactly correct, Mauer. That's exactly what's happening. 40 golf, nine custom levels? Oh boy, okay. Oh hey, look at where we landed! The walls have a finite height. Right, the walls have a finite height. Um, okay. No out of bounds, no! I love how it's the golf that I'm struggling with and not the 4D. Motherfucker. Yeah. It 
That's what everyone said. <sighs> Remember Snell's Law? <laughs> How does that help? Going down the slope also kicked you out of the slice to get in the hole anyway? I noticed. Which makes sense. Um, when locked to the ball, try using scroll wheel to zoom all the way out in volume view. Oh, that makes so much sense, bro. Wait, what? I can't scroll wheel in volume view. I can't scroll wheel at all. Oh, I have to be about to putt and then I can go into volume view. Oh. Oh, that is helpful. Oh, what an annoying shape. Yo, look at this damn shape. Why can't I navigate the space? I guess it's because it only lets me walk the place like the way that a 4D person would be able to walk, right? To navigate this. Okay. So we need to go around this and then through the tube. Wow. All right. Wait, is there any... Hold on. This is all flat, right? This whole course is flat, right? Yeah, 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 everything's flat. And then we go around there, okay, easy. Right, so if we wanna navigate, okay. So if we want to, hold on, get me to the ball. Okay, get me to the ball and also rotate me in a way that makes sense, please. Wait, no, I've got it the wrong way around. West, north, east, south, west. Yeah, okay. So what we need, let me think about this. What we need is to go through, these are the same direction. I want to rotate so that I have, is there a roll function to the 4D camera? You know what I mean? in volume view, but that's not what I want. Click and drag. Yeah, but click and drag only lets me, press and move mouse gives me a uh, pitch and, oh, this is roll. I thought it gave me pitch and yaw. Sorry. Okay, cause I want, I want 4D roll, but it does give me that. Do that in volume view. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Like this is roll. Okay, so I want to roll. Okay, so what we want to do is get the ball through this and then once it's on the other side, keep it going around this track, right? Okay, this is good. We're getting our 40 bearings and it feels good. Oh, it feels so good, chat. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> okay, this game's tight. Oh wait, but I've rotated all the way around. Oh, that's so annoying. I want this. No, I don't. I want, I want this. Oh, okay. I guess that gets me. All right. Fuck, fuck me. I hope I'm on the right side of it. Oh yeah, I am. Right? I must be. Right? Cause now this, we go around here and then to the hole there. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Just blast it. Okay, now we could try hitting it in 4D. Actually, why not? Let's try. So now what we're doing, chat, is this putt. Um, but we're going to putt it in volume view because we're gamers. Too much sauce, huh? <sighs> Woo! Nailed it. Easy. As long as it's flat, volume view is just 3D golf. Yeah. <laughs> is this the path my parents took to school? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uma, are you new? I think Uma's been around, but um, mostly lurking, right? Okay. Use ghost color in the settings menu to indicate if a ghost projection is above or below your slice. A warm color. Oh, a warm color means you should rotate up in 4D. Anna to find the object and a cool color means you should rotate down. 
I was wondering how they gave you this information. Okay, wait, that's huge. But when all projections use the same colors, it can be hard to tell which objects are which, and the hole can be harder to find. Um, I have ghost color on, don't I? I don't. Let's do... Ooh. Let's do orange to blue. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, this is great. I should put on my 3D glasses. You can replay this tutorial at any time. You'll find the options under extras in the main menu. Excellent. Have I told you guys about my note-taking strategy with my 3D glasses? Is that a story that we've been through? What is this color scheme? 4D portal? They pay in Valve royalties? Probably not, right? No? Well, that's its own story. But yeah, I all of the classes that I took starting from like sophomore year of college, I think, um, I took notes wearing 3D red and blue glasses with a red pen and a blue pen to store information on the page in a way that most accurately reflected the way that I felt it, information is spatially organized in my brain because I'm neuroatypical. typical. Um, anyway, let's play some golf. Uh, what's going on here? Volume view? Putt? Zoom out? Oh, this is pretty standard stuff. And it's all flat too? Oh, this is the- this is as standard as this- Oh, I really like the- Hold on, I really like the 4D windmill here. That's cute. Also annoying, but cute. Alright, let's uh, let's go back to the ball. Um... Right, so we want to go through... We want to go through here, and then up and around, and then back to here. Okay, it's clear. It's clear to me. Let's angle this a little, and then... And we probably just want to fucking smash it, right? Yeah, because it's... Yeah, 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 okay, we just want to smash it. Um... Okay. Nice. And there's the hole. We could put this in 3D. But I think putting this this way is going to be more helpful. I'm so bad at golf. And it pushed me out of the right 4D slice anyway. So let's volume view to get... You know what? Let's just go for it. Ah! Oh! Or it could do this. Chat, I've triple bogeyed in the tutorial. <sighs> 4D gods give me strength. Oh, wait, I can just go behind the windmill. Unlocked course, yay! <laughs> okay. It's called tilting at windmills for a reason? That's funny. I am, I am tilting in four dimensions <laughs> at windmills. Didn't it say Evergreen's unlocked? Oh, Evergreen's challenge was unlocked. Right. Sorry, I'm with you now, chat. I understand what's happening. I saw Evergreen's unlocked and I wasn't paying attention. Um, okay, so we got some cylinders here. In this level, you see three cylinders that exist in 4D. The Spherinder is most analogous to a 3D cylinder, right? So instead of having like a 2D circular slice extruded through the fourth dimension, it's a 3D spherical slice extruded through the fourth dimension. Um, 18 holes, nine normal plus nine challenge. Ah, thank you, thank you. Okay. The cubinder is made by extruding a cylinder into 4D. It has slices that look like a cube, right? That would be like a square cylinder or like a rectangular pillar. Um, wait till you get to the tiger. Lastly, the duo cylinder is a Cartesian product of two orthogonal discs. Um, it only has two sides and the slices usually look more cylinder-like. Ah, okay. I gotcha. Interesting. Okay. 
volume view because this is all flat. So here we see sphere one. We see um, uh, sphere ender uh, or not sphere ender rather. We see, well, I guess that these two are the duo enders or whatever, right? But there's no elevation in any case. So practically speaking, it's basically just 3D golf. So let's get here and then adjust our pitch. Wait, where did the line go? Where's my line? Okay, thank you. Uh, and then what's over here? Over there. I gotta get over there. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. Hey, we did it. Can I get nice? And then we drop for a second. All right, we're back. I, I see it hiding in the corner there, though. Let's just let's just jam it. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Don't don't mess this up. Wait, is par five? Wait, I'm on stroke four now. Okay, so we could birdie this. Yay! Okay, first real hole. Trefoil. Hole two, par five. This game is tight. I really like this. Maybe move camera. Oh, you know what? That's a good suggestion. Thanks, Sinoy. So you can see par. All right, I'm over here now so you guys can see the stroke count. And you know what? I should also actually probably put chat in the top left corner. All right, chat's now in the top left corner so you guys can see the compass at all times. Um, okay, volume view for a quick idea of what's going on is kind of my favorite way to do things. Whoa, okay. Holy moly, okay. So we're going this way. And then up around there, through there, up there to there. Oh, but is it all flat though? Because that's not that big a deal. Because here, if we can... Okay, warm. So basically, we have to go around like this. And then through and over like this. And then just make it back to here. <laughs> Is that clear, chat? Um, I'll never not advocate making your camera see through putting it over the entire street. <laughs> okay. Did you rotate your entire room in 4D? How'd you flip your entire room? Listen, I'll, I'll tell you when you're, when you're further along in grad school. Wait, have I ever asked Maine what he does? I must have asked this so many times. It's around your fourth year of your PhD, they teach you how to rotate through the fourth dimension. Maine, what do you do IRL? Are you a student? Do you do, com I think, do you do computer stuff? Like, as a career? I must have asked me in this question already. Like, it's not possible that I haven't. This should be... Okay, around here, and then the whole... Wow, my par is so... I'm so far away. I'm doing a really bad job. Maybe I should... Maybe I should... No, I think I just gotta hit harder. Really, right? Did you get a hole-in-one hitting it over the wall? I thought about it, but I don't know how to bounce it over the wall. Oh, you can give it more power than I was giving it. Now I'm only going to get a birdie? If that. Let's do this in real view. Oh, birdie. I rage quit computers. How's the golf? The golf is great. I'm loving this game. Staircase? I wonder if there's, like, opportunity. If they really give you an opportunity to... You know, find skips and stuff. Um, okay, so if I need to go... That means I need to go this way to get more of this, right? And then where does it go? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, give me volume view. 
Right, volume view drops off a cliff because there's... Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So we're going this way. And then it'll go down. And then through and around. And then it keeps going right. Okay, so a gentle push should basically get it to the end, right? No? Like a push in this direction? No, it was too hard. I just need to let it gently glide down with gravity. Actually, is this going to be helpful? It's probably... Yeah, this is. It tells me how much to gauge the strength of my shot. Gives me better physical intuition in any way. Okay, so now... This should be to the hole there? Where's the hole? The hole is down there, but give me volume view. I guess we just want to keep going, huh? So close? Okay. Here we are. I'm double bogeyed! Ugh. You gotta use regular third dimension to jump over walls in the fourth dimension? What's even happening? So this is where it's not just 3D golf when you're in volume view, right? I could one find 4D skips if not brute force. It's because there are walls that are impassable. Walls and gaps in the fourth dimension are... Oh, jeez. This is... Woof. Okay, that is rough. Um... Because you're still only... This volume view is kind of like the most 4D view. Because generally in golf, the dimension that has the least information attached to it is the vertical dimension. The one that gravity happens over, right? I'll look at the crystals. Oh yeah, I'll look at the crystals. Um, but that doesn't mean that there's no information. And so here, that's the, the, that information is the one that's not conveyed spatially by this by this view. So if there's a wall here, um, or a, um, if there's a wall or a gap in this view, then that means that we need to navigate around that feature, that part of the course using what in this most familiar view is like the vertical dimension. In other words, using the gravity dimension, like up and down, you know? Um, let me talk to this. Yo, where are you at? There. The barriers in the cell are actually cones. You'll see them as different conic sections in the slice view. Uh, circles, ellipses, parabolas, and hyperbolas. Ah, true. Okay, so if we go to this, and we don't do that. And we... Let's go here. Yeah, so depending on how we slice, these things can either be triangles, they can be circles. I mean, they're not really triangles. They're just really... Well, okay, this... For a moment there, it is... Here it is triangles. Because you're cutting just through exactly the middle of the cones. But now we get hyperbole. And parabolae, I guess. And then you've got the circles over there in the middle. Makes a lot of sense. Okay. Ah. Here it probably makes sense to not do it in volume view, but try it in this view, right? I'm guessing. I might be wrong, but I just kind of want to slam it. It hit the surface in a way that I was hoping that it wouldn't. So we're going to have to continue with volume view. Here I want to... Whoa. Whoa. Okay, here, I want to get it through there so I can... Okay. Oh! No, don't go back in! Oh, thank God. Okay. Um, man, we could have gotten a birdie, but we weren't very careful. Par! Not too bad. I totally this in volume view. You think you have real golf, which is played on terrain? on such a huge scale that they don't tend to build it in interesting elevated shapes. This mini golf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. 
Uh, you won't find a Sonic like loop in a big golf course. <laughs> You're not. Is that a challenge? Now I really want a Sonic like <laughs> loop de loop in. Oh, down that way. Okay, so wait. I'm gonna try to intuit the volumetric view, looking at just this. Right. So you go down. So it's gonna be box separated. And then there's going to be another separation, but it's going to be like a 90 degree off. It's going to be like an L, like a big L in space with walls through it, right? Yeah! Oh, wait, there's one more turn than I thought there would be. Wait, what? Oh, no, that's fair, because I didn't have the information of how many. If you look at it carefully, you can probably... T ah, there's yellow. Is okay, right. I understand. Okay. In that case, we need to get it over this hill, but they're just hills, right? Okay. So we, yeah, we just need to hit it with enough power through here and then through there. In fact, let's maybe do this. Hope we don't go over. Too much strength. Okay, I guess we'll do this. To get a good gauge for how much power we want to give it. No! Yes! We did it, chat. Okay, so here, oh, you bitch. Sorry. Wow, wait, okay, this, actually, this view is so cool. Ah, ah, I see. And then this is inverted. How do I get it over there, though? I can't hit it hard enough. Oh, jeez, that's bad. Oh, we're gonna have to get it. Never mind. I'm the goat. Okay, so. I didn't mean to take a stroke there. So now we just have to get here. <sighs> Whatever. I wasn't gonna get this in par anyway. No! Why is the ground so bouncy? Volume view? Well, volume view isn't very helpful when you have to get over vertical obstacles. All right. Okay. Pain. Triple bogey! <laughs> oh, well. We're doing, I mean, the thing that matters is like being able to visualize 4D well. The golf is ancillary, right? All right, so what are we looking at? Oh, that's fun. What is this that I'm looking at? Wait, what is this that I'm looking at? Oh, it's just a hole in the course. That's annoying. Um, where's the hole, by the way? There's the ball. What's this? Can I H for hole? The hole is, oh, is the hole hidden back here? It is, oh, you piece. Okay, <laughs> interesting. I guess bouncing off the wall like this is going to bring us closest. <gasps> Chat! Oh, I was so close. Have a good night, Void. <laughs> Let's do this like this. Just have better intuition for how hard to hit it. Whew! Okay. I almost got a hole in one. Labyrinth! Oh, jeez. Okay. This, we're going to go straight to volume view for this one. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Right. So we got to go up and around. And then down, and what does it matter, <laughs> right? Just fucking smash it. Oh, wait, we could go that way. Oh, I have to solve the labyrinth, like for real. Okay, let's try going this way. Oh, that's going to be a dead end. But if we go this way, it's really hard to tell. I guess I'll just do the navigation. <sighs> All right. So hold on. I want to go this way and then this way. Is a dead end. 
But this way is also a dead end. Whew, okay, that's good to know because that's my intuition told me to go that way. Okay, so we have to go this way. And then this way is definitely a dead end because this ends up in the chamber right next to it, right? Okay, we have good 3D intuition, which is helpful. Okay, so we start here. We go this way. We go this way. And then we'll figure it out from there, right? Um, so let's just go this way. Wait, we, we go this way and we want to go this way. Okay. Oh, no, this isn't where we wanted to go. Oh, but that's fine, because we still have eyes on there. Okay, nice. Um, and now we just check, is hole here? No, that means that we need to go from here to here. Aha, well that's doable. No! No! Alright. Uh, I don't want to hit it that hard. It's just gonna take me back because I'm getting cubed. Okay, we can- we can putt this. Well, this is for par. So we haven't done the worst job in the world. Nice! We did it! Game's easy! It's because there was no verticality to that map, right? Baffles. Oh, geez. Okay, here we go. What's the crystal say? Checkerboards exist in any number of dimensions, since squares and cubes generalize, as you can see on the floor. I know. I have a paper ab uh, about hypercube coloring. Hypercube vertex coloring published. In three dimensions, cubes are the only platonic solids that can tile space without gaps. But in four dimensions, there are two more possibilities that you'll see in that you'll see these in later courses. I gotta think about 4D platonic solids. Get cubed. All right, well, I don't have time for that right now. Oh wait, there's no verticality to this map. I thought there was. Oh, butts. Oh, yeah, give me the... Ah, okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Okay, so we just got to get through the holes, huh? I mean, that we can do. Just smash it. Try to get... Oh, I can almost... Please bounce enough. <laughs> it's going to be tight, chat. Ah! We just missed the hole. Here we go. <laughs> what does this look like to watch? <laughs> That's gotta be crazy. Yo, Rathaniel's here. Hey, Rathaniel, how's it going? Would be nice if the game had a power gauge. Well, there are two ways to control it. You can either do power gauge or you can, this is default controls. And I, I wanted to do it default controls because, you know, I'm not a quitter. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Woo, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. All right. Happy Purim. You still there? Purim? I thought I saw a review mention there wasn't. Looks like absolute mindfuckery. Ooh, we got tubes. Chat, we got tubes. I wish there was a way to de reset default view. Okay, we got tubes and this is all down. So we're at the top. What are the blues? The blue is just the scenery. Oh, okay. So we're, we're at the top. Okay. So we're going to go down. Interesting. We're at the bottom, I guess. Oh, God. These loop structures. Oh, God. Okay. Take me back to my ball and give me volumetric view, please. Yeah, there's so much going on here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So we go up here. I think that's just... Jesus. Par 11? Oh, this is the ninth hole. So I guess this is the big climax, huh? There's a lot to unpack. 
Okay, so we just need to go not hard enough that we fly off the end here. Okay, tight, 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 tight. Now let's go back into volume view. Does it matter where we go? Oh, is that a shortcut? Hold on. Where's the hole? Where, where's the hole? Oh, is, the, is that it there? Where's the hole? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's it there. So then we gotta go... Oh, jeez. But then we gotta go... Oh, jeez. Oh, chat. This is rough. Okay. Give me volume view this way. We just have to navigate this. Oh! Yes! Okay. Expertly handled. I was diverted into the fourth dimension. That's why the wall retracted when you hit. You'll be trying to rotate your view. The interface won't let you, and then you'll realize why. The next game will look wrong because there are too few dimensions. That's really funny. Tubes? Tubes. It's a fun, fun looking course. Let's try and figure out what's going on here, though. Hold on. Give me this. Yeah, okay. So there's a strip there. And then we're going to go up to there from there. Ah, oh, jeez. How am I meant to... There's no wall, though. That's mean. Okay. Let's try and... No, stop! No, stop! Ah. Oh. I'm still... Thank God. Okay. So now... Let's rotate, roll, boom, and do this. Oh, jeez. Go up the hill, go up the hill, go up the hill. Oh, no. And then the ramp took us into the fourth dimension. That's fine, because actually, I think we want to... Oops. No, I want to go this way. Yeah, I want to go this way into the fourth dimension. So let's just do a little bit of this. Yes! Okay, this took us... Chat, we're so good at the fourth dimension! Ugh! Okay. Sorry. Got a little... Got too into it. Um, Where the fuck am I going now? Where's the hole? The hole locate button. Oh, it's there! Oh! Chat, it's, the hole's been there the whole time. We gotta, oh jeez. Okay, this isn't great. Yep. No, please. That's not back the way I came, right? No, it can't be. That's the way back. This game is exactly what my friends think I do for fun, says Belligerent Paradox. First time in the chat. How's it going, Belligerent Paradox? Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Hope you enjoy. That's the way back. Wait, what? How's that possible? That can't be the way back. I don't believe you. Is that the way back? Wait, is this... Hold on. How did we... Where's the thin tube that we just moved down? Actually, where's that thin tube? Yeah, I want to go this way. Right? Oh, yes. Okay, I want to go this way. Yes. I see. I'm good. This is going to take me too long. Oh, this is, this is good, though, because now we can just kind of yeet it, and it's going to land on the track. Okay, we're almost there. Stroke 13? Oh, and it was par 11. My score. 
Okay, where's the hole? The hole is... Wait, where's the hole? I lose the hole? The hole is where? Chat, I've messed up. Hello, 22 over par, my old, my old friend. Chat, let us weep for Samet's score. Yeah. Kind of are doing that, aren't we? I just wanna... I just wanna... Okay. I mean, we gotta... Yeah, we gotta... And then we gotta try to get over this. And then do that loop-de-loop. -loop. Yeet! How... It's already nine over par. It's par 11. You're saying I should have been here by stroke four? I'm being, I'm being a dingus. Let's go to volume view. My score is just irredeemable, chat. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we have to just, we have to give this enough juice. Ah, but yeah, we we landed between, we landed here. We wanted to get over the next one too. I'm hoping we hit that 4D wall and pan. Okay, perfect. Now we've got. Uh, oops. Let me find the right. It's probably easier to go into volumetric view, huh? Oh, I mean, I guess that's true. I need to push myself a little bit further in this direction. Well, this sucks. Because now I can't... Okay, well... No, this is fine. Here's the loop-de-loop -loop I'm trying to get through, chat. Let's go up it and then back down it. This this is what I'm attempting to navigate. There. Chat my score. Stop, stop, stop. That was even more powerful. Okay, that's fine. Wait, there's a straight line that we can go through. You see in this chat? Wait, is that a wall? No, no, no. There we go. Whew. All right. There's the hole. Okay. We can do this. Issue TBH. Oh. All right. <laughs> On to the dunes. <laughs> we'll play. I don't know how much of this we'll get through today. It wasn't 22. True. I am pleased with your progress so far. Yeah, we're eating this. Miniature golf isn't. That's what the Chen Z says, by the way. For the faint of heart, it's a divine ritual. All must master. The tools I have given you are essential for understanding this universe. 
Use your new powers wisely, Hugh Man. And good luck. Oh, Hugh Man, because of the way that they color projections of the fourth dimension. Neat game. It's a super neat game, no hot tass. Oh, what, what was the hole called? When the sun is out of your hyperplane, you'll need to change your view to see it. Even when you can't see the sun in the sky, you'll still be able to see all the reflected light. Yeah, of course, because it also reflects off of the fourth dimension. I wasn't born yesterday, chief. Okay, what do we got going here? Okay, ooh. <laughs> I love the pseudo manger sponge. Just floating out in the middle of nowhere for no reason. Okay, all right, well, this is pretty straightforward. Let's just rotate. And then let's take this slice and then give us an idea for how high we need to go. Let's go like this. Oh, you know what? I actually beans that up. I wanted to go not this way. Uh, I wanted to go this way. Right? Because that'll tell me how hard I need to go intuitively. Oh, unless actually I... Yeah, I think this is fine. Didn't make it up there. That's fine. Okay, this is good. Oh, I wish I was on the other side a bit. It'll probably be fine. Volume view. Yep, that's what we're looking at. Really just want to go around here. We want to not hit it so hard. So maybe we do this. Sir, where's the hole? Oop. Nice. Okay. This is good. Ah! Oh! I'm in the wrong 40 slice. Man. Par. Could have birdied this pretty easily, but... That's alright. I feel like this being is going to be the final boss somehow. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. Golden spikes. Golden spikes, oh god. The vertices, the polygons are few and far between. Sup? 4D pyramids. Okay, volume view. That's cool. That's cool. It's just a bunch of balance. It's balloons. Um, yeah, there's nothing crazy going on here, right? There's just, oh, hold on. What direction is it going? Okay, that direction, all right. So we want, I think we just like, Smash it this way, and then try to get... Yeah! Oh, and then we're so close. Man. The whole... I mean, you could try... Okay, let's get to here. Oops. I want to move. Okay. And then just rotate until there. And then maybe that gives us the best. Actually, because we we can't see it anyway. We're going to have to bounce it, right? So I guess let's just get... Oh, way too strong. No! We hit the balls. Oh, that's going to cost me an extra stroke. Why do I keep hitting them so hard? Okay, this is fine. We, can, we have a straight shot to putt this. It's because you don't just collide with the spheres, right? They launch you. So then you have to deal with something that's in a different, like, gravity dimension slice of the 4D shape, which gives it a different shape. There are pylons with varying heights in the fourth dimension? Yes. There are balls only in the non-vertical dimensions, but they have differing size. So they're like balls that grow and shrink as you go through the gravity axis. I think. When you see a shadow on the ground without a track, they might not be balls all the way through either. I don't know. When you see a shadow on the ground without a track casting it, when you see a shadow on the ground without a track casting it, it means the sun has shifted into the fourth dimension. A full three-dimensional shadow is there, but your slice might not include the shadow and track together. It's the, the, the same thing happens when track appears without its shadow. Ah. Interesting. Volume view. Let's see what's going on here. Right, so we've got hill, hill, hill. Then down, and then we go down there. Okay. That's fine. 
So let's see. Yeah. Ah, oh, we're such good navigators of 4D space, chat. We're so bad at golf, chat. That's embarrassing. Oh. It's because the zoom gives you... The zoom gives you, like, a warped reference for... I don't deserve to live. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I done? There we go. Okay. But now this wall is where we're going to have to go through here. Four-dimensionally? Uh, oh, and then to there? Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this slice then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. So we should be able to... This? But then also go down. Yes, this is what we want. No, that's not what I wanted. Let's do volume view. Yeah, it's going to be... We could do this. Hope for the best. Hey, that's pretty good. Hole's right there now. All right. I've doubled par. I've more than doubled par. I'm so bad at golf! <laughs> I'm actually okay. I've played golf once in real life, like golf golf. I've played mini golf a few times. I'm actually really good at mini golf, but I'm better at golf than I thought I'd be. I played it once, like we just went to a driving range with a bunch of friends. Uh, it's a lot of fun. You just have a bunch of food and you're just whacking golf balls. Golf, I think we should abolish golf. I think that golf is like a travesty on like humankind. I think it takes up resources. Um, like communally, communally and ecologically that can't, that don't like justify itself. But um, driving range is a good time. I could recommend that. Um, don't give up it. You can still increase your score. Going for the high score, baby. Okay. Let's zoom out. See what shit. Yeah. It looks like a pretty simple shape. There has to be a better visualization tool than this, though. That, like, better incorporates all four dimensions of information. Like, with what I said, with, like, the opacity being the fourth dimensional position coordinate. You know what I mean? All right. So, we got to... But can we, in 4D, align our trajectory... Like this. Too fast up the ramp. I keep getting greedy for a good score. And then that's what prevents me from doing... Uh, that makes sense. Oh well. We'll do it the boring way. Oh, now I don't even have a view of the... Um... There's a hole. Hole's there. Wait, what? Where did I where did I come from? Oh, it can't be there. I have to go around here. Maybe I don't. I just went up here, right? So now I need to go up there. But why can't I find the right trajectory? Is that a wall? Like an impassable wall? 
No. No, it's not. Wait, where? Sorry. I'm lost, chat. We're from bad at golf that we should abolish golf very quickly. It's a slope. Show me, show me slope. Obviously not that one. This slope. Why can't I connect? This is really all I want. Is this so much to ask? Don't put me further back here, dude. Okay, wait, this is actually fine. No, it's not. I'm just going to spend a whole stroke coming over here. So then I can get over this. <sighs> chat, chat, chat. Rotate yourself non-volume view by pressing H occasionally. Oh yeah, that's probably a good call, right? Where's H? Oh yeah, the hole's up there. Yeah, yeah. I, I should be using H more than I am. You're right. If only there was online multiplayer. Then chat might be able to help, quote unquote. Bring me to the hole. Oh! I'm just glad that I can laugh at myself, chat. Otherwise, we'd have, we'd have some problems. I sank back down. Suddenly having trouble laughing at myself. You're right on that gym angle that would get you up the slope before? I know. Golf with friends in 4D. Hit your future ex-friends from the fourth dimension. That's very funny. Oh! No! As it hit the wall, it went... Oh! Chat. <laughs> I'm going to unalive myself. Why do I keep hitting it so hard? We're all right. We're going to do the rest of this campaign. We're going to do the rest of these nine holes with these controls. And then I can't, I have to switch. I have to switch to the other putting style. I can't chat. I cannot do it. Because it's not just how far away you are from the ball when you hit, right? It's not just pullback. It's also like speed of shot. <sighs> Thank God. Jesus. Oh. If you don't pull back, you can't hit it as hard. That's not how it works. It's only speed. There's a famous optical illusion of a vase that looks like two vases, two faces from the side, known as Ruben's face. Uh, look closely in the ruins and you'll find one of these vases. In four dimensions, the illusion becomes two 3D faces looking at each other, but this face can't hold any water. I get that, but where? Look in the ruins? Where's the ruins? I see no such thing. I see this pyramid here, as it is. Look in the ruins? Is it... Where am I supposed to be looking? Oh, a volume view might help. No? No? Alright, whatever. Um... What's this blue situation here? Interesting. 
Okay, so there's there's this chamber here. And then we gotta get through, and it looks like it's a flat map actually. That's not so bad. Nice. And then the hole is right down here, right? Okay. This is ballsy. We don't hit it super hard, I say. Oh, I was so close. All right, let's do this in 2D view. It's not a flat map, you have a ramp in front of you. Oh yeah, wait, I did? I'm gonna try to go around the map, go on the ramp. No, I'm not gonna try to ramp up to the end. That's just gonna be disaster, right? Like, why, like I guess it makes the hole slightly less interesting. But, interesting, so we've got... Ah, we've got this situation here. And this goes into a ramp over there? Right, okay, hold on. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. And then let's go into volume mode and zoom out just to get a good look at right. We have risky or less risky. Let's just get up here, I guess. I said, let's just get up here, I guess. Oh! I might go for some good f solo hole stuff. Exciting gameplay equals, equals terrible score. It's a very charitable way of putting it. No, because it's going to hit the... I mean, it would be tight if we could. Maybe this is a better angle to shoot for, right? Okay. And now we can try to, so now if we see the hole, we rotate through the holes there. But I mean, obviously it's not super helpful, right? So what we really want is like this type situation. Yes. No. All right, give me. Okay. All right, I feel good about this. Now. Up one ramp. Uh, We should have a straight shot to the hole now. Yay. Just gotta bank this. And it only took me nine strokes. I'm about to have a stroke. IRL chat. At least that one will be a hole in one. If I'm lucky. <laughs> Disaster is good content. Yeah. I think I'm done messing with computer. Can properly watch. Are you winning, son? What a time you've chosen to properly watch Santa Court. Okay, let's take a look at the structure of this hole. Oh, okay. No more 90 degree angles, huh? So that's a ramp, that's a ramp. We could do this. Okay, let's get, let's just get a little closer. Yeah, and then that's fine. So now we should be able to, I don't know if it's a ramp or a dip. There's no really way to... There's no real way to tell with that view, right? There, ah, okay. Oh, is this sand trap? Oh, it's sand. Do I die if I get it in the sand? 
So we're gonna find out. Oh no, it's sand just like terrain, like sand trap sand. Ah, okay. So now we have actually show us the hole. There we are. No! Are you serious? There we go. All right, we did it. We did it! Nikita says, create a lot of predictions, bets with points, where I choose who is a winner. What do you even mean? I'm gonna, we'll, we'll get back to it. I'm not, I'm not going to mar my 40 golf experience <laughs> with chat's nonsense right now. I'm too immersed. I'm trying to go pro. They call me Four Tiger Woods. Oh, 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 it sucks so bad. Okay, walls. So I guess walls are ramps. In, well, does it matter what path I take here? Are they symmetric? Like if I do this, then it's clear how I can get up here and then just go down. Oh, come on, man. That was a good shot. <sighs> Easy. Easy clap. Wait, I didn't want to do this. Because now I can't, now I'm, I've just gone from, well, actually, no, this is fine. Never mind. I'm freaking out for no reason. There we go. We've been here before. Okay, hold on. Pain. Pain. Yo, what up? Hi. Catmaster Davizinho 2023. How's it going? It hurts so much. We're playing some 4D golf. I, I'm succeeding at the 4D and really deeply failing at the golf. It's unbelievable. The golf is so much more of a problem. We're gonna sweat. We're gonna swap putting styles, chat. Ah! No! Don't! Don't! Okay. Jeez. There we go. Four over par. One for each dimension. Hey, at least we're under double par, chat. Lost pyramid. Hole nine. Par four. What are we looking at here? Oh, interesting. But then does gravity, do we move up or down in gravity? Is this up gravity or down gravity? With respect to where the up, and then we go, ah, okay. I see. Right, so what we want is to go there, but not, because the hole's over there. This is so fucked up. I can't believe they would do this to me. All right. Just don't, just don't overshoot. I hit a wall. Can I get it closer so that I have a better shot? Then we're gonna go into this view. Then I'm gonna see about... Yes! Oh, Chad, I'm the goat! 
I'm so good at 4D golf. Tutor's here. 5D golf without multiverse travel or multiverse time travel. It's actually 4D golf without multiverse time travel. But how's it going, Tutor? How's life? Honestly, good except for this game. <laughs> this game is actually also good. I'm, what was I thinking? I'm just really bad at the controls to the golf part of this game. The 40, oh my God. The 40 part, I'm not having too much trouble with. How are you doing? It's good to see you, man. Chat, this is my descent into four dimensional madness. Fuck! All right. Oh, man. Good trying to repair laptop. Life's still moving. Typing's a pain now. Sorry to hear that. Give, okay. Putting style, metered. I guess we gotta do the chat. Are we doing all of the. Like everything, yeah. Let's just move through. Let's do the challenges, and let's play as as far as we can basically get. Anyone know what time we started? Nitro X seventy uh, seventy two first time in the chat. Nitro says, "I love hate this control scheme because that's what it'd be like in VR." Sort of. At least then there's some amount of, you know, like it's easier to translate how much force is going into it when the like distance that you have basically your hand going like this versus like this is much more sensitive than your arm going like this versus going like this. You know what I mean? Just do the challenge for that mode. 10,000 percent percent completion. I suggest moving directly to Arctic. Don't try challenges. Nah, we gotta do the challenge. Are you kidding me? Don't try challenges. Who do you think I am, Sonoy? Wonder if this game will get a level editor. I think there is a level editor in game already. Um, I think that it makes a lot of sense given the target audience. Oh, we need to go. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. We gotta go down. It's metered chat. Oh, I have a new lease on life. Yeah, but then you're going to make it down, aren't you? Hell yeah, bro. Give me the hole. Wait, what does this look like in here? Okay, that's what I thought. Wait, hole is there? So we do... Two bars. Honestly, that's pretty close. I still need to translate. Okay, par's not too bad. Like how far, like is one bar enough here? One bar is plenty. Okay. I agree with Samet, 40 golf is more fun when the 40 part is trouble, that control sensitivity. Yeah. If Samet doesn't play these challenges, they'll flood the queue. <laughs> That's right, man. Um, whoa, what are we looking at here? Oh. 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 Ramp up. But then is it... Wait, why is there no... Oh, because there's no wall. Right. Maybe we want to play this in this view, actually. Give me like a one. That should be plenty. I was wrong. It was not plenty. Oh, par is three. Oh, I'm, my goose is cooked. 1.25, maybe? Easy clap. Oh, 
Wait, what? What am I looking at right now? Yeah, so I should just be able to get there, no? Give me like a three bar. Oh. Three? What? Oh. Oh. Wait, does this get me there? Am I taking crazy pills? <sighs> That's what I thought was happening. I thought I was reading the silhouettes properly, but I was not. Balls. The name of the game is Quintuple Bogey. No! By the way, there is the Pythagorean theorem for 4D, distance equals square root x squared plus y squared plus c squared plus w squared. Um, Yes. Although that's not what I'd call the Pythagorean theorem. But I mean, I see what you're saying. You're saying distance, boom, boom. Yeah, I understand. Hex double bogey. IGTG? All right, take it easy, carpets. Thanks for hanging out. Wensley says I'm happy to see other people get their minds around this madness. I just finished the game today. Good luck. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I mean, distance formula? Well, I mean, they're the same thing, Dragon Engineer. Right? Like, what is distance, but, like, the right triangle is, like, two coordinates, like, X and Y, and then the distance from the origin is the length of the hypotenuse, you know what I mean? Time to talk about metrics in 4D. D4 distance in 4D. Oh, God. All right. Okay. What are we looking at? Oh, God. These are getting so much tougher. Okay, holes there. Orange means we have to roll down, essentially, right? Yeah. All right. Can we see the hole in this dimension? Yeah, okay. Although, I guess we need to go like this anyway. Or we want to hit that intermediate. No. Oh. This is what we want. We want we want to put into that sand trap basically. I don't know how much the sand's gonna slow me down. Let's try three. Let's try two and a two and a little over a half. Hold on, Cement. Are you asserting that this game ramps up in difficulty as it progresses? How heinous, I know, right? Real heartless devs. A little under two and a half. There we go. Now we have this. I feel like we can bink. Two. Three. Hi, Law. I'm playing four dimensional golf. How do you feel about that? Yeah, you've heard? She knows the community memes, chat. Uh, yeah, check this out. This is, I'm, I'm rotating my view through the fourth dimension as we speak. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, there's volume view. Look at this. 
This is a representation if you eliminate like the gravity dimension. And so like, you know how if you look at a golf course from above, you just see like a 2D, you know, shape. That's the equivalent of this on a 4D golf course. This is the 3D shape that happens if you're just looking straight down from above, but there's an extra dimension. Enjoy your shower. All right. She's an English teacher, chat. Hey. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, it's the truth. But I don't think that implies. I, there was no subtext. There was subtext. Well, there was a little subtext. It's actually 3D golf in 0G. Sounds hard if you haven't seen it before. Of course it does, chat. Chat says hi, La. Yeah, being an English teacher is actually quite hard. Oh, all, all of my drumsticks. Don't worry about it. My room, yeah, my room is difficult to navigate, especially if you have a butt, which we do. Gordian says, hi, dragon. Oh, hi, dragon. How's it going? <laughs> so I've been slow to work on the puzzle. After the wedding, I'll focus up. Dissertation proposal. Man, dragon's getting on. Samet is that one person from the new three body series on Netflix that just keeps talking about dimensions. What is that series? How many strokes have you had already while playing this? My man Toast, how's it going, bro? It's good to have you here. Check it out. This game's great. Um, numerous to answer your question. Okay, so here we've got this shape. And then blue is up. We need to get to the blue on the other side. Uh, blue is up and we want to go up. So it's actually probably easiest for us to go up that way, like to do this and then drift back down on the other side. I'm going to give it a three. Which, which wall did it hit? <laughs> Chad, this game's bullshit. What? Okay, that's blue. So we want to go up this ramp and to the other side. Down the other side. Nice. Okay, so we should have a clear shot over a ramp. And we do. Oof. Oh god, Ramadan is hitting me so hard, chat. Terrible stomach pangs. For anyone who wasn't here before, I'm not gonna go into it, never mind. I had a very I had a very rich dinner. And breakfast. Two isn't enough to go up a ramp from the base, huh? No, no, reset! Oh, fuck. Okay. Two and a half? Nice. This looks like about, about a half swing. Whew, bogey. I'll take that shit to the bank. Damn. Par. We're so far over par. It's actually not as bad as the last one. I was following the game a lot during development. The most insane thing to me is that it has a level editor. It's apparently fairly intuitive to use. Yeah, no, I think it is. I think that if you, if you um, edit levels in the volumetric view, that it's not terrible. It's my first time seeing actual for release gameplay. How's the game so far? Game's fantastic. It's pretty well tutorialized. It helps if you already have some amount of intuition about like extra dimensional geometry. Um, but even if you don't, I think it's very playable. Like even if your goal isn't to sort of enhance your existing intuition for like 4D stuff, uh, it's still mechanically playable even if you ignore all that shit. You know, it's like the conversation that we were having about like playing 5D chess like understanding the fifth dimension versus like mechanically being competent at the implications of the like mechanical extensions into the extra dimensions. You know what I mean? Me too. Try the editor, but I'm good enough for it now. I like the onion skin representation of the uh, fourth dimension. Uh, don't worry. The levels will get harder than these simple ones. All right. 
Is this this is the challenge for the dunes, right? I mean, this is just the like the second world, I guess. Um, okay, let's let's get a little volumetric view. So we're going down. Oh God. No, we're going up over this. And then down to where they almost do the gradient. But right now, there's no real... I guess there's a bit of a gradient, huh? The gradient's not as strong. Wait, can you edit the strength of the gradient? <gasps> Ghost opacity. No, that's not the same. Never mind. I was hoping you could. Um... If you never played five, if you haven't played five D Jess, you won't get this game. That's so wrong, <laughs> so incorrect, <laughs> so incorrect. It's because the two extra dimensions in five D Chess are both temporal. It's the red line in the volumetric view, the three D compressed into a plane. All right, toast. The volumetric view. So this view, the red line. Oh, the red line. To answer your question, the red line is like this the red line is the slice that we're taking out of okay so this view is the gravity dimension plus two of the other orthogonal dimensions right so up and down is up and down in this view to pick which two of the other dimensions we're seeing here in the volumetric view, which is just the three dimensions that aren't the gravity dimension, uh, that's determined by the plane that's drawn by this line. So like this line is like 1D, but it's 2D because it also extends like into the, into the screen, right? So that gives us two dimensions, left, right, and in, out. And then when we switch over to the regular view, the third spatial dimension that you're looking at here is the addition of the up and down gravity dimension. Know what I'm saying? I hope that's clear. I see it's kind of what I expected. Yeah, I think, I think that it's like relatively intuitive-ish. Um, let's try to do, let's do three here and hope that that gets us over because we can't you can't really beat par very much here right that's good and then in volumetric view let's now zoom out where am i going the holes over there so i'd kind of prefer actually maybe Maybe we maybe we do this. Yeah. It is even just playing the simple levels, it is crazy how much you improve like your understanding of how the 4D translates. Like how to read the interface, the intuition for like how the 4D. Cause even though this is 4D golf, like it's really kind of 3D, three D three plus one D golf. You know, like you can still think about it. The way that like Real golf in real life isn't 3D, right? It's like 2D, but also there are like slopes. Uh, that makes it really manageable, I think. I know even if you don't have an intuition for 4D, the 40 sum of this game can end up feeling more like puzzle game mechanics. True. That's true. Uh, it doesn't mean I can wrap my head around it just seeing the volumetric view. I'd probably need to rotate the fourth dimension a bunch to figure out how things in the level relate. Well, yeah. You do, but rotating through the fourth dimension is actually kind of harder than you realize. Like it really, the volumetric view really is super helpful because it tells you, like, I think it's much more helpful to look at the volumetric view and then take, and I actually think just the volumetric view is really helpful because <laughs> the gravity dimension is communicated by the color. So you see this blue stuff, the blue shading indicates that there's stuff at like a higher elevation than you, but of course the elevations aren't expressed in this view. Uh, and then the yellow tells you how it slopes down too. Yeah, I think that it's really hard to actually express the way that you build intuition for this game. I think that you really do just have to play it. Sure, but I expect you'll eventually run the curve slopes with no course wall, uh, where you won't be able to brute force the ball through, it'll just fall off. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. 
I find the compass makes it clearer. The compass really helps for me. Um, I really like this version of the compass. Um, there's also, there's like uh, stereographic, but there's also isoclinic compass, which is like this style. But I find it more, I find this style more helpful because it's like, it shows you like you're the center of the ball and it shows you what direction you're looking at, you know? Blue and orange are up and down in volume view? Yes. Blue's up, orange is down. Let's do a cheeky little three here again. Nice. That's not amazing, granted. But um, we should be able to get to like yeah. Oh, finding the hole on your own is so satisfying. It's like, yes, I, I am the master of the fourth dimension. Okay, that's pretty good. I say we give it another three. And this should get us there. Close. No cigar. All right. This is a one. Par! All right. That makes total sense. Color coding to display the extra dimension is smart as hell. Yeah, that's what I hoped. I was complaining about them kind of not doing it until I realized that they do do it. Um, of course, color coding in the... This is color coding in the other dimension now, right? So if you look in one direction... Uh, sorry, I keep... I need to go left to right here. Yeah. If you color code in one direction. Oh, it's weird that. Oh, cause it's wrapped around. Actually, I don't understand why, why that goes the way that it goes. It's kind of weird. I do wish that there was a button to restrict the rotation of your camera to a single, like, axis. Because, like, I really want to scroll... Like, I really want to roll along the end dimension. Like, uh, sorry, around the, like, north-south dimension. But necessarily, because I'm human, I'm also scrolling... Like, there's pitch in addition to roll... Don't want to get me started on yaw. Um, so what we do with 3D graphs too. We color 2D graphs. True. Are you joining the 4D golf championship? Is there a 4D golf championship? Finding the hole on your own? <laughs> That's very funny. I'm smashing the H button all the time. Well, it's funny for, for other reasons. <laughs> um, I guess I want to do this. I don't know how to get up there though. Wait, actually, let's take a look before we do that. Just to make sure we understand this. Okay, we do understand the structure of the level. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This game is tight. I really like this game. In most applications, you restrict axis rotation by holding control or shift. Yeah, that's not how it works here. It is how it works here! Wait, no. Oh, no, sorry. In this, in this view, you only ever rotate roll anyway. Sorry, sorry. Fake news. Sorry, let me check now. Now... Yeah, like all 3D CAD software works that way, right? But this doesn't, unfortunately. Not how this works. Um, anyway, let's go back to... Let's see. We had north here and east here, right? And then we want to rotate... We want to roll... F or no, we don't want to roll from here. Sorry, give me north. And then we want to roll... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, have we decided what we're doing, by the way, for dinner? Oh, right. Okay. Uh, do you need my order? Or are you just gonna... Well, that involves... Just get me, get me a burrito without cilantro in it with San Diego style. That's it. Sorry? Steak works. Chicken works. Uh, I don't know. Chat, do I want a steak burrito or a chicken burrito? 
I can offload my decisions. The first person, no cilantro. I have the cilantro gene poison. For shame, how dare you? It literally tastes like soap. It's ass. Immediately we got, wow, that was a close tie, but Tudor got to chicken before Narik said steak. Rathaniel said fish. Nikita said dog. Uh, so what, who did this to you, Nikita? Uh, Jonas says duck. Um, Poison says extra cilantro. That's gross. Uh, David has told me that his partner also has the cilantro gene. These suggestions devolved fast. I'm amazed by how this is like the Twitch chat equivalent of like counting to 10 in a thread. It just got more and more degenerate. Well, no, sorry. Duck should definitely be less degenerate than dog. Um, vegan? Okay, give me chicken. Well, we had steak last night. All right. Next. Do I? Oh, they've got uh, haritos. But what flavor? Chat, what flavor of haritos? <laughs> if there's guava, I've been eating a lot of guavas lately. I bought guavas in Morgantown. If they don't have guava, I like tamarind, but I always have tamarind. Maybe grapefruit, if they have grapefruit. Guava, grapefruit, tamarind. That's the order. Otherwise, pineapple. All right, sorry. Sorry, what was your question? Oh, laundry? Uh, I did laundry before you got here. Bye. Okay, thanks, chat. Lime is my fave. Oh, I don't think I've ever had lime haritos. That sounds really good. Don't you have more than an hour till sunset? I have about an hour till sunset. And it, you know, she's probably gonna order in like 20 minutes. And it'll take like 40 minutes to get here. Using Twitch chat to avoid decision fatigue? I sure am. I have some duck prosciutto in the fridge. Duck prosciutto? Interesting. Should I have some of the lobscouse soon? I don't know what these foods are. Are the walls being auto-placed on any golfable surface or are they also somehow part of the 4D space? Um, there, there aren't necessarily walls, so they're also part of the 4D space. Like there's a lot of, um, in volumetric view, like you only see walls where there are walls. Sometimes there aren't walls. You seem to be doing well for almost all the way through a day of Ramadan. Yeah. I mean, you get used to Ramadan. I was, uh, sorry, this is, we can't, I need to play more of this game. <laughs> um, I need to play more of this game. I'm not going to get too sniped about Ramadan discussion because I could talk about that forever. Let's try, let's try, it's going up. Let's try a three at this angle. No, let's try four at this angle. No, let's try three and a half. Oh, chat, we did it. On this course, the whole edge is walled. That's correct. Just call it dry intermittent fasting. Suddenly everyone will praise you for it. Yeah, but it's the wrong mittent. It's like intermittent fasting usually eat like during the day, which makes more sense like digestively anyway. But um, also the dry is really a big part of it. The wall isn't very tall. All right. Um, I want to go up there, but could we bink it if we did this? Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily, right? Give me volume view. I'm playing a dangerous game here. Trying to go for this. Could work. Chat, do we go for it? Lobscouse is an interesting old naval recipe that's a meat stew corned beef, but the main thing that separates it from other meat stews is that it's flavored very noticeably with juniper. Ah, I'm a fan of juniper meats. 
All right, let's go. Four got us up here, and this is twice as tall, so five. Chat. Almost albatross this. Ah. Oh! We're gamers out here. Eagle! Have you had to rotate while the ball was rolling so far? Well, the physics isn't influenced by my view perspective. Like, I think I'm not allowed to view... Like, you can't adjust... You can't, like, wanted the golf ball around in four dimensions, you know? Like, when you hit it, it has, like, a linear trajectory, and you can rotate your view if you want, but it's not going to change the trajectory of the ball in four dimensions. Is that a big hole? Sus? I mean, it would appear to be a big hole. It would appear to be two big holes. Um, but only in this slice, right? Like there's a lot more, we can see the shadows of the rest of the course over there. Let's go into, let's go into volume view. Woof. Oh. Chat, this is going to be such a pain to navigate. Oh gosh, and there's no... It's fine. Give us one. That might be too much. Give us 0.8. It was not too much. I messed up. Okay, but now I know. Now there should be an adjacent. Yeah, like I want this, but then H, no. Give me this. Oh, wrong way. Closer. Closer. Beans! I have beans this. That's fine. No, no, no! Good. Okay. Now we just need to... I like this level because you actually have to navigate it. You, you have to navigate, you can't just navigate it solely relying on like one dimension or the other. I guess I'll go there. Should be like 1.5 maybe? Stop, 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 stop. 1.25. Nice. Now we should have... Are you kidding me? That's fine. Wait. If I... Hold on. Hole. Two, three, carry the one, make this a two and a quarter. God damn it. We're so far over par. It's embarrassing. Whatever. This isn't monkey ball. You aren't rotating the course. Yeah, you're not rotating the course. Yeah. Um, this hurts my brain to watch. But it hurts so good. You know. You know? Oh, let me. I, I missed a little bit of chat. Let me. Uh, but you can create and remove surface if you need to? No, you can't. We're only viewing different three-dimensional slices of the four-dimensional course. The course is always how it is. And the physics will always be deterministically exactly what happens in 4D. 
like as soon as you hit the ball, you have no influence on. Well, you never have any influence on the course, but as soon as you hit the ball, you also don't have any influence over like the physics that happens. So you're not creating or removing any surface. It's just we're seeing different parts of the surface um, due to, you know, the limitations of like the three dimensional rendering. We see 3D cross sections in volume view. It's a black hole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with the context of the ball rolling on the course, it's equivalent to surface just materializing. Yeah. Except you don't have a control. You don't have any control over that. Um, don't try to go directly roll up a bit on that hill to divert the ball towards the goal. Um, yeah, that's a valley, not a hill. Yeah. Um, it's relevant for aiming only insofar as you need to select an angle. Exactly. Um, that would have been a good example of rotating mid roll to remove the hole. You're not rot. You're only rotating your view. Well, I can't tell if toast gets it yet. <laughs> So how this works, the hole always exists, whether you see it in your current slice or not. Uh, if a certain view has a hole in it, that just means a hole is in front of you in the angle you're currently looking. Uh, at Smith Church, you know that big hole in the volume view is a black hole. Um, sort of. Like, I understood that it's like a sphere, except in the gravity dimension, it's a well. So, it, I mean, it is a black hole, yeah. Um... Are there any strafing buttons for the fourth dimensional axis? Um, wait, I've been, this whole time I've been like complaining to myself secretly that there's no strafing button. I just remembered that Q and E strafe for the fourth dimensional axis. I'm so frustrated by my own simple omission of information. I was like, wow, I can't believe I have to rotate, then move through a different axis, then rotate again, just to move through. Okay. That's fine. Right. Anyway, what am I doing? Um, volume view. Let's see what's up. Ooh, this is fun. I like this. It's an interesting course. So can you ever... Move the backgrounds. Okay. How the fuck do we do this, bro? Par five? Are you joking? All right. But these don't ramp up. How do you even... Let's just try. Let's just try like a four. Chat. I am a, I am a god among four dimensional men. <laughs> um, that's why I put remove in quotation marks. But by rotating the fourth dimension, you influence the shape of the surface that the ball rolls on. You don't. You do not. By rotating the fourth dimension, you don't influence the shape of the surface the ball rolls on. You might influence the direction that you're facing, but not. You know, like you're never, that's never happening, Toast. <laughs> we must get him to see. Um, okay, so what are we doing here now? Oh, I've, I haven't put myself in a great spot, huh? This is going to be trouble. Okay. Um, because there's no straight line. Actually... No. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Hold on. This might be possible to bink this. No. I really need a reorienting shot. Like, let's let's do like a... Let's do like a this much. I should have done more, chat. But at least I can get over there now. Can I... I fucked this up. 
All right. Okay. Now we can do three. No, four. Four. Five. Just, why, why didn't I rotate so that I could see the platforms? What's wrong with me? Wait. Boom. Interesting that volume view can show how gravity works. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. You suppose Code Parade will make a 40 monkey ball? Dude, that'd be awesome. I guess it's not too early to ask when we're... I guess it's too early to ask when we're this early in the game. Maybe the later courses are monkey ball? That's true. The matter... Hi, Toto. How's it going? We're having so much fun with 40 golf. This game is awesome. Hit the ball towards the ramp, rotate the fourth dimension, and see if the ball will still roll up the ramp despite it not being visible in the current 3D view to see if it works like that or not. Um, what Samez trying to explain is that you have agency about, is that all you have agency about as a player is how you hit the ball. Everything else is just a tool for perspective. Yeah, exactly what Tudor's saying. This isn't handheld micro golf or monkey ball. Yes. Yes. Um. I mean, put it this way, Toast. Like, if you're playing a normal mini golf game, that's just like, you know, 3D regular. You can rotate your view like left, right, right? After you hit the ball, rotating your view doesn't magically like move the course so that where the ball is rolling is now different to where it was going to roll before you rotated the view. However, before you shoot, rotating your view does influence the trajectory of the ball because it determines the angle in 3D space uh, at which you're shooting your shot. You know what I mean? Maybe that's the best way to explain it. Um, oh, this level. The matter of appearing and disappearing is just looking. Did you find the secret thing? I don't think I've found any secret thing. Um, the matter of appearing and disappearing is just looking in a different direction. Uh, that will be what it interacts with if you hit it in that direction because it is in front of it, but only because you've selected that angle of movement, not because you changed what is present. Yeah. Smet, can you change into volume mode while it's in motion so we can see it not hit the wall that appears? Uh, Smet, can you change into volume mode while it is in motion so that we can see it not hit the wall that appears? Oh. I understand what you're saying. I feel like Cement loses a thousandth of his sanity every 10 minutes of stream. <laughs> Yet he keeps coming back all the same. No, of course. It's good to have your sa your sanity tested, right? It's like when you're exercising, <laughs> you know, you have your energy tested and your strength tested, but then those things come back stronger. I feel like sanity is similar. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe it's more like having a stroke in that... What doesn't kill you doesn't necessarily make you stronger. Sometimes leaves you much worse. Stroke! Golf! Full circle. Seeing the gravity and volume view is making the game so much easier. Yes. Yes. That That's huge for me. That's huge for me. Um, you didn't miss too much. Hey, kids. Remember to exercise your sanity. Expose your mind to terrible things to garner trauma resistance when you put it that way. It it's not exactly the sentiment that we want to be delivering, huh? Okay, volume view. Just to get a just to get an idea of what we're working with. Oh, it's so straightforward when you see it like this. Although I do I wish you could pan in volume view. Like globally. Okay, that's actually that's actually profoundly unhelpful, huh? Um 
but we've got this. We've got these. And then if we move this way or that way, ah, that feels so good. I'm so glad that you can move in the other dimension. Ugh. Okay. Real question here is, can we make it up to there? That's going to be too tight. I think that we're better off trying to make it up this right one. I think we'll give it a four. And end up on the right side of it. Oh, they're sand traps. Reset me. Let's give it five. What? What? Oh, I guess it's the sand slowing me down too much in that direction, huh? All right. We're not going to make it up there, are we? Is that what the... What does it look like up here anyway? Is this hole yet? Yeah, it is. Okay. I feel like there's almost no way. Well, okay. Let's at least rotate... To here. Oops. To... Let me get this right. To here. And try and make it up there. Nice. We skipped the middle one. Oh. I guess that's nice because we're not on the sand. Now let's get to the hole. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. Let's try not to mess this up too bad. Let's go four. Is that too much? No, I don't think it's too much. No, please. No, please. Stop. Please. Not even close, chat. Three, two, overkill, two and a half. Oh, this isn't sand texture. Why did I think this was sand texture? Three over par, I got a triple bogey. It is sand texture. There just isn't like a particle effect, I guess. Unlocked iridescent ball! All right. I don't know who this par guy is, but we're kicking their ass. Am I right? Arctic, ice physics. Here we go. We are cruising. Marvelous work, human. May I call you Hugh? I found your body so unusual with all those organ sacs rattling around in there. Sorry, was that too intrusive? I have no concept of privacy as an omnip as an omnip as an omnipresent life form, excuse me. Keep your third eye open, Hugh. I have high hopes for you. High hopes for Hugh. That's cute. Big air. Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, it's so vertical. Okay. Yeah, not a lot going on in the in the fourth dimension. Right? So let's go volumetric and let's just see what we're Yeah. There's not a lot happening. Okay. And we'll do our best. I mean, as far as I can tell, this is just a regular, it's like a, uh, just a ramp. With no other, like, frills or gimmicks. Let's try, I don't know how much, two maybe? Or we don't want to overdo it because it's going to gain speed. Oh, I guess it's at a slight slant, so it's going to be difficult to not hit the... I see. 
So maybe there is a little more going on than meets the eye because of this. Ah, yes. Okay, so we want to go this way. It seems subtle, chat, but it's necessary. Wait, that's the wrong... That's the wrong way! You motherfucker. When I said this hole was easy. Wait, why aren't I looking this way? I'm so bad. <laughs> this whole one, right? I'm just going to reset the hole. Can we reset the hole? What does that do? Oh, that resets just your... It's stroke seven. What? There we go. Okay, first try, chat. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. I'm guessing I can't play this? No, Santacore, you can. Uh, you can probably play this. Like, you don't ever have to push more than one button at once. It's gonna be hard for you to play this, but you can. Good cover, he won't know we have spies. <laughs> um, I think I see what I misunderstood. I didn't realize that the fourth dimension also had its own gravity. Um, I thought the game physics were exclusively 3D, while the fourth dimension is just here to change the current presentation of the 3D space that you see. So am I understanding it correctly that you can hit the ball in such a way that it doesn't move the ball in 3D space at all and only shifts the surroundings without the ball moving? Uh, not really. Okay. Toast. Reset holes for when you get into water trap or sand trap. Oh, thank you. I understand now. Toast. There are three dimensions. Plus another spatial dimension. The one spatial dimension is influenced by gravity. So in 3D golf, you have two dimensions and a third dimension that's influenced by gravity, the up and down dimension, but left, right, up, down isn't, right? Horizontal and vertical, sort of, if you're looking at it from above. This golf is just 3D golf, where it's two dimensions that are orthogonal to each other and unaffected by gravity, and then another dimension that's affected by gravity, plus another orthogonal dimension that isn't affected by gravity. So here what we're seeing these, this volumetric view is all of the dimensions that aren't affected by gravity. Uh, however, gravity still exists in the dimension that we can't see right now uh, in a way that will still influence its movement in these dimensions. So, like, if in regular 2D golf, you have like a ramp then if you were looking in just the two spatial dimensions like if i'm looking if i oh, I, I can't do a perfectly vertical perspective which is really annoying but if i'm looking like perfectly vertically like this if i was looking perfectly pretend this is perfectly vertical um like a straight up and down if this was a slope if this isn't a slope right then when i hit this ball it moves in a straight line uh if this was a slope then when i hit this in a straight line it would move in a straight line but then it's motion because uh, the ramp would push it like back this way like toward the way toward me in this situation in the opposite direction 
that I'm putting. Um, despite the fact that the two dimensions that I'm looking at are not influenced by gravity, the motion of the projectile would still be influenced by gravity, even just looking at its trajectory in these two dimensions. So the same thing is happening in this volumetric view. So we're looking at the three dimensions that are not affected by gravity. They're all orthogonal to each other. And in lieu of everything else, all ball trajectories here, besides like bouncing off a wall, they're not affected by gravity. It's just a straight line that bounces off of stuff, right? But gravity is still present. It's just that the third dimension that we can't see if we go into this view, suddenly we can see we replace one of those uh, di three dimensions with the gravity dimension. This view gives you the up and down dimension. Here we can see that it's flat, so gravity isn't going to influence the trajectory anyway. So here, I'm looking at the trajectory of the ball. Let's just hit it a little bit to get it slightly. So in this view, I'm looking at the trajectory of the ball, uh, but I'm only seeing visualize the three spatial dimensions that aren't affected by gravity. But as soon as I push the ball into the area where this ramp is, the trajectory of the ball in these dimensions that don't themselves have any gravity affectation the trajectory of the ball will still be influenced. So if I hit it like just hard enough to get it over this edge, then we see the ball and now it's being accelerated by gravity in all of these dimensions, despite the fact that gravity doesn't influence any of these dimensions. There's only gravity on the Y axis. However, the ball has four spatial dimensions of range of motion rather than three. The view that, can, that includes X, Z, W axis only, which is what this is, is equivalent to 3D golf without gravity. That's kind of what I was trying to express. So long as the course is flat, which often it is not. That's exactly right. You can also think of it as 3D space with an electric field with the electric potential as height. I think that that's a strictly more complex way of thinking about it, price of dimium spike. But you are correct. I mean, that's the way that we try to explain to like freshman physics students what the electric field is like, right? Um, like the potential, we kind of express to them that like the potential you can think about as like gravity and a 3D ball rolls like in the direction that gravity would take it on a hill, the way that a charge moves in the direction that the potential gradient um, moves them, right? I've seen way too much B equals knob across A in the past three months. Right. Right. I've skipped a few cor uh, courses trying to get pars in all. Marathon, my behated. Damn. Okay. Sorry. So let's actually, for real, for real, do this. Um, on God. No cap. Uh, so let's go into volumetric view and let's aim just like this direction, I guess. Right. Yeah, I like that. Let's try this, chat. I hate my life. Okay, what if I just, what if I aim like super this way? What if I aim so far this way? What wall am I hitting there? Wait, can I re, can we get an instant replay? Am I not seeing? Okay, there I'm hitting the wall. Thank God. I think you can think of slopes in volumetric view like wind that affects the space, if you like, yeah. Uh, all of these are helpful pictures, for sure. There is a way to travel around in volumetric view. 
um, you can you can traverse the same way that you can walk around a 2D golf course. Um, you're allowed to walk around the 3D space, right? Must have been the electric field. <laughs> that's really funny. Um, but that's a helpful way to think about it, sure. So more closely to explain the issue I had. So to more closely explain the issue I had. Sorry, let me also let's check out the hole. Let's go to the let's go to the ball. Check out the hole, put this in volumetric, and sink this sink this ball. So to more closely explain the issue I had, if you display 3D space through an orthogonal top-down view, you get an essentially 2D view. And in most 2D games, the played the player only gets to move the character along those 2D dimensions. So even if you were to adjust the 3D space, the gameplay would still be 2D. And trying to move the character upwards, in this case towards the camera, wouldn't visibly move the character at all. Think about Fez. That's why I thought this game works, but it doesn't. I mean, all the things you've said are still true. But now, the orthogonal top-down view that you used to have, where you're no longer looking in the gravity dimension, is exactly this view. This volumetric view is exactly what that is. So here, you're seeing... You're essentially seeing into the these three dimensions from the direction of the fourth dimension kind of you're projecting that one out okay so that the same activity is happening and so this movement that we're doing is unaffected by gravity because it's the it's the same as the 2d movement where you're before with that orthogonal projection, but now instead of the 2D space being where you define that movement, it's this 3D space that you're defining that movement. And none of this involves movement up or down. At least you can't influence directly the movement up or down the gravity dimension. That's only for you. The Twitch video doesn't capture all of it. We only see a 2D camera in your 3D view. I'm also seeing a, you know, 2D projection of the 3D space of the you know, that's a projection of the 4D space, right? I'm looking at my monitor to clarify. Yeah, you can walk around the golf course, but you can't fly over it. This game confuses me. <laughs> Toto, I think you'd enjoy this game. Walking around in volumetric view is still weird because you're still affected by gravity. You're not affected by gravity in volumetric view. Right, but you also get control over moving the character into the third dimension in this game. No, 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 no. Uh, toast. See, that's actually true. You can't move your character in this game in the third dimension. Like, your view, you're limited to only moving in the non-gravity dimensions. So, in that sense, it's the same. Unless we're talking about different extra dimensions. But, like, I can't move my character in any up or down the gravity dimension. Like, my character can't jump. And even here, in this 3D view, there's an extra dimension uh, that I can move through, which is why I can, f I can fly in volumetric view, which is actually just walking along at the same elevation for, like, gravity purposes. But in this view, I can't jump. I actually can't jump. Uh, I can't move up and down. So it's only 2D movement that I'm restricted to. Um, but here, I have full 3D movement. By moving the character, I'm hitting the ball. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, but but you, you still can't move the ball. You can't directly hit the ball up or down the... You can't hit it in the gravity direction, either up gravity or down gravity. Hi, Jatlo. Hello, what did I join to? You joined um, this fantastic game of 4D golf. I, I'm really vibing with 4D golf. This game is great. Uh, and I would urge all of you nerds to try this out. All the nerds in the chat. Boop. Double bogey, I say. Sp lots of spoilers. Jeez, okay. 
Right, but in the extra special dimension, you can hit it, right? Yeah, I mean, there isn't an extra special dimension, really. Like, they're all the same dimension. But yes, in the extra spe- Like, the ex all three spatial dimensions that aren't affected by gravity are completely, like, um, basically, it, it's, it's isotropic. The, the dimensions are isotropic except for the axis where there's gravity. He said spatial, not special. Well, yeah, you, yeah, he miss he misspelled both. I, I get what he's saying though. All the nerds in chat, just everyone in chat. Yeah, I know. Isn't that what he's gonna do anyway, eventually? Okay, so let's check out what's going on here. Ooh, oops. We've got some structure. Oh, where's the hole? Okay, the hole is down that arm. Is there any gravity or is this all flat? This is all flat because it's all shaded the same way, right? Worm. Worm. Oh, so if we want to go down there, we'd have to bink it off of this surface. Do you think we can do it, chat? No, because we're seeing it at too far. I don't think we can. I really wish I could fly in this. Okay, so if we go straight this way and we hit this, we're hitting it at like almost this angle. No, because if that were true, then we could, we could just aim. We need to be able to either aim here. If I aim here, will it go that way? Well, I don't know if I have a 45 degree angle on this. Oh, wait, we can determine that, right? Just by zooming out. Oh, well, that's further away than I am. So there's there's a 45 degree angle. This is a shorter than 45 degree angle down to there. No, it's clear that it's going to go that way. Okay, that I'm not going crazy. So I want to slam it into here. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be so embarrassed. Pretty sure I just want to slam it into here. Hey, Samad, I found a way to invade your 40 golf multiplayer. Just you wait till I can display chess plan. It's on the screen. Great. With VR mode coming out eventually, this is closer than you think. Oh, <laughs> um, Main had said... What? I thought you bought like 10 monitors so you could have a 3D view to play this game properly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the VR is like close enough to a 3D view, right? Exactly. So what I'm saying is in Fez, you can't move along the third dimension. The 2D play space is merely a projection of the 3D space operating completely in 2D rules. In this game, the extra dimension is actually a full physical entity, despite the view only being 3D. You can't physically hit it in the dimension you can't see because of the game controls. No, you can. You can in volume view. Or really, you're always going a little into the dimension. Like, okay, in not volume view even, look, where I'm f looking, look at the compass in the very top right, right? Here, I'm, I'm currently hitting the ball between, like in some non-zero amount in all three three of the dimensions that are the non-gravity dimensions. Like I, I, I am. Stop debating physics, just hit the ball. We're not really debating physics. So the dimension you can't see, you like this cross section, this is two dimensions that we're seeing, but they cut across all the other dimensions. There's still an axis you can't see. Yeah, but I've decided where I am in that axis. So like, that doesn't make sense. Like how I'm hitting it right now is literally exactly identical to how I'm hitting it right now. All right, let's play the game. Uh, what was I doing? I wanted to reset my view. Oh, hold on. Where's the, where's the hole? Oh, the hole's over there. Okay. Uh, 
There we go. So I think I should be able to slam it into this full full force. Yeah! Oh, beautiful. Can we see the hole? Close. Oh, stop, stop, stop. The hole should be right there. Yeah. The hole... The hole's right here. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh gosh, now I just have to guess. Holes over there. So I'm gonna guess about there. Three and a half. Oh, stop! No, please, stop! There's ice physics that we're also ignoring, I assume. Yeah, okay. Part, part of that was happening on ice, which you could tell from the particle effects. What is this? This is maybe like a one and a half, just over. Nice. Birdie! We could have eagled, but that's fine. Debating geometry. It's not really a debate. It's much just right. Well, it's not. We're not really debating what's like right or wrong. We're just trying to get everyone to like be on the same page. You know. Hold on. What does that mean? Jesus Christ. GG. GG. Okay. Where's our? Oh, here's our ball. Oh, what's going on here? Volume. Volume view mute. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. This is the first time we've had this real overlapping. Oh, this view is so good. Chat, this game's great. So we have to ramp up there. Okay, so here, this is good because this is where you kind of have to put together your, like your intuition about like what, like, interpreting this properly is crucial for actually playing. You know what I really wish existed, chat? I wish... So we're seeing right now, it's like blue or orange, depending on like whether it's up or down in the gravity dimension. I really wish that we could tell well, no, because I guess... Okay, never mind. That doesn't make sense. Because we've always... We've always decided... We've decided that the course is always a 2D manifold. Right? Like, there are never really tubes. I mean, there are walls. But I was going to say that it'd be nice to see boundaries. Because I can, I can clearly see how I'm supposed to navigate this space. I'm supposed to go up... <laughs> I'm supposed to go up, let me, no, there's no way that I can capture this. Wait, okay, I can screen capture and then alt, okay. So I'm supposed to be going up this way and then up this way and then up here. But what this doesn't communicate very clearly or intuitively is where I can fly off, right? Um, so I wish that there was like darker or lighter based on if there are walls, like how, where there are walls in the gravity direction. Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Like I wish slightly more information was conveyed, but whatever. Uh, really, it's just a skill issue. Um, and this is plenty readable as is. Um, so like this gives us a little bit better of intuition for like what we're working toward. Uh, we're, we're basically trying to loop the loop here, um, which we can do. Let's try three. Three was not enough. Sag. Let's try four and a half. I should have done it at a different angle. That's my bad. Okay, I think that this should be fine. Actually, it depends. I kind of want to see this view, right? I 
think this is what we want, more or less. Where does that get me here? It's close. Four? Yeah! We're doing it! No! Fuck my life. Okay. Three and a half? Yeah. Please stop. Okay, think butts. Uh, let's get in the... Yeah, okay. This is just regular ass golf. I didn't consider the fourth dimension. How could I have been so naive, chat? Oh well. This is like a one, one and a half, 1.25. Triple bogey, huh? <laughs> Yikes. This is extremely satisfying. Wonder if there's a climb bottle at some point? Oh, I hope so. I also noticed with my new computer, I have extremely less delay. Although navigating a Klein bottle with gravity in one of the dimensions would kind of still be rough. I can see my message almost immediately as I send it in your stream. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Oh, hello, information. Uh, in this course, the floor pattern is not a checkerboard, but slices of a different shape called the 16 cell, which is the four dimensional version of an octahedron. Right. Octahedra do not tile to fill 3D space, but 16 cells do. This is one of the three regular tilings possible using 4D platonic solids. Right. I just want to see a tunnel. Stroke one, I can assure you. We've been past stroke one for a while. Okay, so we got to do up there, up there. Oh! Is that a 16 cell, I assume? Over there? Or whatever, you know, that... You know what I'm trying to say. Um, let's try... Let's try looking in... Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Perf. Um... I won't... We want... 2.25... Not even close. Three. Three and a half. All right. Okay, now. Um, yeah, 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 perfect. Okay, that's what we wanted. Uh, now, we want this, yes? I want to see a funnel. Yeah, no, that, that's that's what you call the thing to fill a bottle. Yeah, you nailed it. Just over three and a half. Easy clap. Now this guy, give us whole view. And then a little bit over here. And then I'm going to say four. Four. Four and a bit. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> All right. Chad, I was doing so well. <laughs> Triple bogey. Is Samet, why you golfers always bring a spare pair of pants? In case they get a hole in one. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, one last question. <laughs> what does the orange and blue onion skin represent in relation to the volumetric view? Ah, in the volumetric view, this is where those things are the most helpful. Uh, orange represents that they are lower in the... Uh, Okay, this is actually true of both views. So I'll say what it is first, and then I'll give you the implication. Uh, in both views, orange says that you are... Um, 
that that spot of the onion skin where it's orange is further down in the dimension that you're not seeing and blue tells you that it's further up in the dimension that you're not seeing. In volumetric view, the dimension that you're not seeing is the up and down dimension, the one that's affected by gravity that we would call up and down in human space. And so blue in this view means that it's higher up in those locations uh, in the dimension you're not seeing. Um, so in golf dimension, if I'm looking here, I'm going, I'm looking uphill. Um, and what do you know? That's true, right? And so in volumetric view, if I look toward orange, like the hole, that tells me that the hole is lower in elevation than I am, despite the fact that I can't see the elevation dimension in this view. And if we take a look, uh, what do you know? The hole is lower than we are. So that's what blue and yellow do, or blue and orange do in the volumetric view. It's very helpful. Um, it's very helpful and super cool. So it's always so damn articulate. Well, thank you so much, Tudor. That's very kind of you to say. Uh, I definitely, I spend a lot of my mental energy picking my words. Um, it comes from, like, in some sense, I'm not very naturally... Like, talking doesn't come easy for me. So I think I put a lot of effort into it, and then this is what results. Does that make sense? Like, I've never been able to just talk. I'm, I'm always amazed by people who can just, like, rattle off sentences. Words don't come easy to you? Yeah, or at least they don't come smoothly. So I put a lot of energy into packing them a particular way. Right, I understand. And the orange and blue outside of volumetric view remains the same. Orange higher, blue lower? No, outside of volumetric view, it represents, it's slightly less intuitively helpful, but it represents its position relative to you in the dimension that you're currently not seeing. Does that make sense? At least I think that's true. Yeah, it's certainly true. So the dimension that we're not seeing here, we're seeing the third dimension right now, we're seeing three dimensions because this is a 3D projection, right? This is a 3D image. We're seeing three dimensions. One of those dimensions is the up and down dimension. In this view, that's like what this view does, is it always gives you the up and down dimension clearly. The other two dimensions are two of the three or a like two dimensional slice of the other 3D view. That slice is actually what this red line is. So in volumetric view, we have this red line. That is a two dimensional slice. It's the one dimension across your screen and the second dimension is into the screen, right? So when we switch from this volumetric view to, um, to the regular view, the not volumetric view, what you do is you take the third dimension in this volumetric view that's not covered by this red line, so up and down on your monitor right now, and that dimension goes away, it's projected out, it disappears, and in its place, you expand along the up and down dimension. So when I exit volumetric view here, that dimension ends up becomes the up and down dimension, and there's another dimension missing because we've removed it. That removed dimension is the one whose relative position information the blue and orange onion skins now represent in this view. So you're always given three visual dimensions of information intuitively, and then the ghosted orange and blue onion skins give you uh, proximity information about the dimension that isn't the three that you're looking at naturally. In volumetric view, that dimension is always the up and down dimension, the gravity dimension. In regular view, it's whatever dimension by rotating your camera a particular way you choose to have removed. You know what I mean? Maybe a little? Is that clear? Makes sense? Okay. Whew. 
I forget what this game calls the fourth dimension axis, but new directions are called Ana and Kata. Yes, Ana, this game also uses Ana and Kata. And you can tell in that compass that I have on the, um, here, th this compass that I have in the top right, there's uh, the familiar, let me rotate it around so that it's kind of helpful. There's the familiar, well, okay, we want to do this. There's the familiar north, south, east, and west. You can see in the top right corner of the screen. And there's also Kana, um, or Kata. And then Ana is the up backwards, if you want to see, you know, based on how you like the right hand rule. Um, Ana. So it's A and K in the compass. I thought somewhere in this, there's a concept of orthonormal basis that we're excluding because it's much more doable in layman's terms. I know, dude. I know. Yeah. Whereas ahead and behind you is the same direction in, two, in the two views. So the red line is actually a red plane that you're viewing edgewise. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, Jonas. Compass shown Anth and Keth, which are absolute compass directions. Yes. Anth is to forward is to north. No, because north. Yeah, exactly what Jonas just said, Spike. So like here in this view, uh, actually, let me rotate my view like this. Okay. So this is Ana is up and Kata is down in this view. Uh, north isn't forward. North is only forward if I'm facing north. But now north is to the left. Which I know is intuitive. It, like a lot of this is semantics. Like I know that we're kind of on the same page. But I guess you could say if north is forward and east is right, Ana is up, Kata is down. That's a way to say it. The meanings of words. I know, right? I'd say your style is respectable and also what I saw a lot of at university. Well, that's good. Thank you so much, Tudor. That's very validating. I appreciate it. That's about my communication style. Okay. Can we, how many, we're on hole five and there are nine and I need to end stream in like 10 minutes. So we got to rush through. Okay. We, we got to rush through this. Um, so let's do here. Let's uh, give me a volumetric view. Give me a little bit of this. Um, and then I want to be going up and then down. So maybe let's look this way. Yeah, it's so satisfying when I get the slice like exactly the way that I want it. Um, I mean, it was close. Like really what I wanted was this, but you know, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. I really wish there was a button to isolate the axis of rotation. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. That's good enough for me. Two and a half? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, we should be able to get a birdie here. Um, okay. Where's, where's the hole? Oh, there's the hole. Okay, so we want to go... We can see that that's all blue up there. So we're at, like... Uh, Potential well, pretty far down a potential well. So here we want to do this and project that shit into, yeah. Oh, that's so good. Well, okay, we obviously don't want that wall there. So maybe if we H here and then do this. Maybe three feels good. I hit the wall. I'm such a dingus. How'd I hit the wall? Two and a half. I should aim myself. I should aim myself better. Let's aim ourselves in, in here. 2D this way. I think 3 this way. And we should be good. Oh. I need a little more juice. Alright, well, rip par. But that's fine. We could also just give it... We could just... Slam it like this and it should end up... Please... Yes! No! Oh, okay. Or so, whatever. That's fine. This isn't too bad, honestly. 
There we go. I don't actually understand what you mean by slaying the axis of rotation. How is that different from strafing? Um, well, strafing is movement. Uh, like strafing, you can't strafe the same way that like WASDA gives you this. And when I'm at the ball, like in order to move, um, like if I WASDA, it takes me off of the ball. Same with strafing, right? What I want to do is isolate the axes of uh, rotation. So like when basically all I'm saying is like, if I'm moving, I'm moving my mouse up and down to influence the pitch, right? But because I'm human, uh, I'm also accidentally moving my mouse up and, or sorry, left and right. So I'm also um, doing um, like yaw, you know? So there's like, this is pitch and this is yaw and I want to be able to press like hold control the way that you do in a lot of like 3D rendering software and CAD and stuff and then rotate my mouse so that it's locked to only doing one of the dimensions. That's what I mean. Can you use the arrow keys for that? Doesn't look like you can, unfortunately. Uh, there might be a way to do it that I just don't know. It's possible. Um, so we really got to get through these levels because I got to go eat Ramadan dinner. Ramadan dinner? I mean, it's called iftar. There's a word for it, but you know, I've chosen to call it Ramadan dinner. Oh, oh, it's and it's all above me. I wish that there was shading. That's my one. Like, there's gradient shading where the orange and the uh, gray and the blue meet each other, but I wish that there was shading within each. Like, I wish that it got darker or it got more blue or something, like saturation, hue, lightness, whatever it is. Um, the further up or down, so that there was even more, like, accurate visual information. This reminds me of trying to play XCOM Enemy Unknown. I'd aim grenades and confirm with enter because clicking would move my pointer ever so slightly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Ramadimadum. <laughs> yes, thank you, Double Jumper, for your insightful commentary. Um, let's see. Let's just try this. Let's just try this. Uh, let's try. Let's try a four. This is a perfect 90 degree ramp. So I need to get, that sucks. Okay, so I need to aim uh, here. But again, I haven't rotated it in just the one dimension. Honestly, that's probably close enough. Okay, so here if we did like a, a little bit over, Please. Nice. And then we can get to the hole from here. Well, almost. <sighs> That's fine. I think we're going to make par at least. All right. Here we are. Nice. Cement, what your time? It's currently 7.03 p.m. and I can eat in like like four minutes or something um my head hurts not from this but from the acid trip i just went through like literal acid trip or what are you give me some context bro Ooh, we like 4d balls okay so this is all going down where's the hole it's in the ball excuse me oh <laughs> Okay, so, okay. Can we rotate through? Yes. Oh, chat. Oh, but it's not gonna... Oh, but maybe... It's possible this will work. Pain. Oh, chat called pachinko golf related acid trip i see well you went through a golf related acid trip and it wasn't this 
Dude, this is such an unhelpful, like profoundly unhelpful view. Oh, this hole is, this hole. Oh, this hole is so cursed. Oh, chat. Honestly, might want to reset hole. What if we go here? Will we move? Uh, no. It's further down. How can we move? So we don't want to touch those objects. Can't really not touch those objects. I mean, I guess we could do this. And then, no, we got to move further this way. And then hit this. took us 11 strokes. <laughs> can you do most of these holes as a hole in one? I have no idea. There are probably a lot of them that you can. Oh, half pipe. Oh, this is such a short and sweet map. Holy butts. Yeah, like I, I can tell exactly what this looks like in 3D view intuitively, which I really appreciate. That's really cool. I like that. Okay. Um, Right. Can we can we like reset my view? Oops. Um, not what I wanted. Yeah. Now let's go. Let's see. Because you don't actually want to go through the half pipe, right? That's what we want. But I obviously want. Like. Oh, wrong way. This is where it would just be so nice to have the tools that I'm talking about. That's close enough. Okay, let's try this. All right. Oops. More that way. Four. Oh, I'm moving up the balls. Do we need to reset hole? And then it's just this is going to take us up. No, it's not. So it does have to go. What? If we go up, if we go further up, and then we jam it. <gasps> yes! Okay. Ah! Oh! 4D. Full force, obviously. Okay, so now, is it going... Is it above or below? This is above. Low. Let's try here. No. Let's try this. Didn't matter anyway. Wait, what? Oh, do I need this to happen? Wait, no, I don't. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? How can I not? talking about K 
Can you split screen view? No, unfortunately. That moves you out. What? What about here? Oh, I was I was rotating in the wrong dimension. Oh, this is if we had tools. Whatever, we're almost done. It's fine. I just want to I just want a button to isolate rotation about a specific dimension. That's all I want. Last hole. Last hole. Okay. What do we got going on over there? Interesting. Okay. Oh, and then it's in a hole. Okay. Dope. All right. Um, let's just get over there. Let's try three and a half. It's never enough. Four. Uh, and then let's just try to get over there in this slice, because why not? And now, we rotate. I'm getting better at navigating the 4D space, like quite a bit better. Feels really good, actually. There's our igloo, chat! Chat, you ever seen a 4D igloo? <laughs> oh, we can't go there, because we... We can't fly in the... whatever. It's frustrating. The ramps here gave me trouble. That makes one of us. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Um, let's see, let's try a four. Yeah, you really can't hit it, otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna get screwed. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a pain. Because in three in this space, we're trying to shoot into this thing, right? This this is this is the igloo in the other three dimensions. It's a real pain. Alright, this is gonna take an extra extra stroke for sure. Well, We did it, chat. Only a bogey's not too bad. <laughs> Tip of the iceberg. Complete the Arctic course. Okay. This is where we're gonna have to cut off our first playthrough of this game, or our first session. Uh, I really like it. It's everything that I wanted and more. Um, it's probably going to YouTube on Monday. Um, I, I need to go eat. I haven't had food or water in 14 hours, and my girlfriend is, I'm sure, very patiently waiting to eat with me. So, we're gonna go. So, we'll have chicken to survive the horrors of religious fasting. Yeah, that's right.